What's up studs and chats coming at you guys with a big gaming news video and I just want to get right into it First off a massive shout out to every single one of you out there Like really though we hit 1200 plus likes on one video and 200 plus subscribers in one day And that's a very rare thing for me Okay, we have been growing really fast and a shout out to every single one of you If you guys are new here if an alpha child like you is new here I cover all the big gaming news so subscribe And our first story is about the Xbox Series X and S the pictures were spotted in the wild and this kind of brings me back to the day where we saw the xbox series x unboxing video you, you guys remember that there was like a man on the streets from the streets actually he was like in flip-flops with a hoodie we heard that allegedly he saw the xbox series x like somewhere sitting in like a shipping department he saw that he was like okay i'm gonna take it and run away not only he did his unboxing video he showed his face and later on his video was privatized and i was thinking maybe microsoft kind of reached out to the man really the weirdest or alive to catch that man uh, with his pants down right or i should say he actually risked his life because technically like he like showed his face and kind of like uh, did the unboxing and then took the video down literally the man didn't give a flying twinkie about anything he didn't do his unboxing video and now more and more consoles are out in the wild so surely people will be getting early speaking of early well a soccer player robert he ended up getting like a ps5 controller early i, I think straight from sony he posted over on his instagram and i think all of you guys can agree smash the like button if you agree right because i think this man is gonna be vitamin d deficient right L look at that he's a soccer player right he should be out in the field somewhere he should be like running and you know boosting up his stamina getting ready for the next match and whatnot like holding a ps5 controller he, like come on man come on dude like you're gonna be vitamin d deficient i'm pretty sure our people our community we as gamers we can hold it down right we can be vitamin d deficient i just don't want to see anybody be vitamin d deficient that's my only thing so smash a like button if you would like to trade places but seriously god bless he did get it early that's a pog uh I, I like to see that but speaking of a pog a lot of people are now getting the sony pony consoles early we have summit sarkar i guess uh, i have to say this man gada pal one it's like khuda medban to gada pal one right don't trip man i really did switch the language right there but we got more pictures of the sony pony console we have the rear end picture and it do be looking beautiful right we we have the ps5 sitting horizontally the views are amazing okay we also got the vertical view because i know that some people like the vertical view other people like the horizontal view we also got jeff Keighley, who did get ps5 early and he did weigh this out and apparently it is about 14.7 pounds it is a thick boy out here i mean we gotta put that cat picture in the background because you guys know these are facts no printer and shout out to every single one of you kind of added me in the situation we have a list of everyone who got the ps5 early and we got so many people that have received the ps5 early from sony if you remember just a couple of days ago sony did let like the japanese people japanese youtubers have their hands on the PS5 early and this is the video we saw. <laughs> I think our people will like it. It's uh, now speaking of the sus news, a homie actually added me in the situation last night and he says that his Xbox Series X pre order was cancelled and says that th they cancelled everybody ordered that order on the October 16th. And all in all, this is what GameStop is saying hey, thanks for waiting. I checked and it seems that the order was cancelled because it was placed when there was no units in stock. This has been GameStop, right? Like people are trying to actually go at the Sony ponies, the Xbox Series X, and whatnot, like you know, trying to fight over consoles. How are people? people supposed to fight over consoles when you're gonna cancel pre-orders GameStop come on man of course we're going through the Rony situation people over on Twitter trying to cancel each other and you're out there canceling the pre-orders for the homies like get the F out dog and now Jake uh, of course I'm joking you know, my man Joji added me in the situation look at that jawline right here you know says that bro GameStop canceled over a thousand pre-orders Sony pony here so he's a Sony pony and he's proud to be Sony pony right he's out there kind of like adding me in the situation because Jake he his pre-order was also canceled Rawl, his pre-order was also cancelled. And we got Sony ponies out here that are chesting up. Like, the man said, hey, what's the big deal? It's just an Xbox, not like it's a PS5. And Tropical Blood, for real, that's why not a whole lot of people talking about it. You gotta think this way. What if your Sony pony console was cancelled, right? Like, what if your PS5 was cancelled? Trust me, we still got 20 days left, okay? You never know, okay? Papa bless. But this situation is wild. Like, we're under this Rony situation. Like, we're hearing GameStop in different countries saying that, hey, you gotta wait till 2021. One. So needless to say, the situation is kind of tough. And here we got Austin Evans out here who did get the PS5 controller early. And really, man, he's also going to be vitamin D deficient. I, I like to care for people, you know what I mean? Time. <laughs> he got it early. And Let's say it here. Wow. Well. No, literally, where are you facing you? It this was thing. facing. No, no, no. 
Oh. This thing? Do you want me oh. to unbox it for you? Oh, this thing. Oh. Yeah, 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 that. I saw that. Oh, yeah. That is a dual sense controller. This isn't white at all. This is gray. All of the it images make it look to totally white. Wait, here. For it's comparison, this is a dual sense, or sorry, a dual shock four. Can you see the difference there? This looks so significantly grayer. All right, all right. Before I look too much into the controller, that's literally all you get in the box. There's an instruction manual, but there's no USB cable or anything like that. So what Yo, no cable? No cable? What's up? Yo, Sony, what the flip? What do you get with your $70 DualSense controller for PS5? Well, first of all, a very similar familiar layout. So you have your D-pad here, which I will say the D-pad is like one individual <laughs> piece. So you can see that the entire yeah, thing the way moves touches. as you tap it back and forth. You also do have your standard buttons, which actually have like a little bit of a different feel to them. We have our clickable PlayStation button. Oh, oh, it's come alive. Do okay, it, my well, uh, we'll ignore that for a moment. There's a physical button on here, which looks like it is for muting the either your headset or I assume the actual mic. And then you have your little uh, touchpad, which feels very similar to what you got on the PS4. Now the thumbsticks, I like it. It's actually a very grippy kind of finish. So it's got that little dome on the inside, so it's easy to grab. I mean, literally, no matter where I touch it, it's very, very grippy. I'm gonna teabag your mom. I don't know, is that what kids sound like on PSN these days? So on top, we have our triggers. Oh, that's actually really nice. That's actually surprisingly stiff. Not so much the fact that like, you really have to like crank it in, but like you have a lot of sort of levels of sensitivity there. Yep, Interesting. Yep. Something I'll say with all of these buttons, they feel well damped, right? So if you use a lot of controllers, especially if you use like cheap controllers, you can tell that oftentimes you can see that it's a button, but it kind of just like feels sort of hollow. It doesn't feel very, I don't want to say premium, but like you kind of tell it just feels a little cheapy. Every single one of these buttons, I mean, you can hear it. Yep. It's very like satisfying sounding. So yeah. of course, case closed, he was hit in the G-spot. Uh, now speaking of the Black Ops one year exclusive deal early for the Sony Pony PS5 wall, it looks like that Activision is back at it again. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. This one goes out to Activision. The grass is green. What else is new, right? The grass is green and Activision likes money. They dropped a 30 second zombies trailer. And personally, I, I gotta be honest, like I'm a Sony Pony myself, okay? Proud Sony Pony. And really though, I'm not really hit in the G-spot. Mind is not blown. And really though, I have been saying this for a while that, yo, where's the catch, right? We're getting no season passes, we're getting DLCs for free, like same day, whatnot. All of that is good, okay? All of that is good, and I will, I will make a point in just a little bit that will make you guys feel a little bit odd if you're on the Xbox and whatnot. But really though, I was thinking that they're gonna make Dead Ops Arcade 3 one year exclusive for the PS5, but in, in a way, I'm glad that this is the only thing they're making it one year exclusive for PS5. It doesn't look interesting to me, I'm, I'm just gonna keep up buck 50 with you guys okay don't cancel me just yet and it feels like the modern warfare 2019 survival is right now but with zombies instead of like the ai bots but no i mean zombies are ai bots if you really think about it like that but it feels like modern warfare 2019 survival i'm a huge fan of modern warfare 3 survival like needless to say i wanted that but modern warfare 2019 it definitely didn't hit me in the g spot and this seems kind of similar and that's why i'm glad that everyone is gonna be getting dlc on the same day okay no season passes and this is the only catch behind the scenes so in my opinion of course it's my opinion don't try to cancel me let me know your expertise in the comments below i'm gonna let you share your expertise okay other people they might ban you the only good thing i see happening from this one is that maybe towards the end of black ops life cycle we're probably gonna have like seven eight maybe nine zombies maps alongside dlcs and whatnot and then we're probably gonna have like 20 plus multiplayer maps that we can play zombies on on ps5 so at the end we're probably gonna have 20 30 000 million zombies maps that's the only good part about this one and of course if you're really gonna think like that well it really does suck that it's gonna be one year uh, exclusive and this is josh he's a man on the streets right i don't want to like drop deuces or an anything on anybody right i don't drop deuces on people i simply just uh, shared the information and what people are thinking right but he says that i bought modern warfare last year because spec ops uh I, I didn't care about that much skipping black ops and future call of duties now surely the sentence wasn't coherent but i guess we all understand the language of pain this is real pain guys but share your expertise in the comments below turn those notifications on gently just give it a little tap click on any of the video on the screen you're gonna get a kick of dopamine and i will see you right there stud my fan out